Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Today we'll be looking at Wave 1 of the Masters of the Universe Origins figures of He-Man and Skeletor that came out only at Walmart in 2020. So here's He-Man. And here is Skeletor. And here is the back of He-Man. Now note in the wave here that there was actually six figures that came out. You can see some really pretty and beautiful artwork up top. And a description of how to pose He-Man. But in this wave we get He-Man, Tila, Man-at-Arms, Beast-Man, and Evil Lynn. And then here is the back of Skeletor with his beautiful artwork right there. The same figures. Apologize. There. There. So I do have a loose loose versions of both of them. So let's take a look at them right here. So we have He-Man here. And his head moves around. So He-Man comes with a, a single uh, power sword that snaps on to Skeletor's power sword. And this is vintage. This is old school right here. The Filmation cartoon did not have that. He-Man had the full power sword. And he never had, I believe he never had his the battle axe. Maybe, maybe one episode only. And he comes with his shield. And it's all, you can move, you know, body parts around, stuff like that. You can move head, his head around and a ball joint. So everything's like a ball joint, like you can see. Like you can snap, you can see that it's on a ball joint. So you can snap it back into place and you're good to go. Now, the head sculpt. For He-Man and Skeletor. A lot of fans, a lot of collectors did not like this head sculpt. For good reason. I did not mind as much. I was just glad, glad that we got a new He-Man line that reminded me so much of the 80's vintage He-Man line. I was just happy. Especially around 2020. And we all know how you know what a, what a year that was. So I was just happy and glad that something good and something made me smile that was happening. So here's Skeletor with his more open mouth and his uh, Havoc staff. And like He-Man, he does move around like that. His head, you know, you can pop his head off. You can snap it back on. And here is his power sword. You can see the back. So these two parts snap on, and you use both ha like both parts of the of the uh, when you snap it on. I apologize. You can put it in the door for at uh, Castle Gresco to open it up. Basically, it's like a key. Basically, you need both uh, swords to open up the Castle Gresco. So there's the key. Also, it came with this really cool comic book. A little storyline here. And also, it shows all the back of the figures that was in this line. Now, I do have a, a vintage He-Man from back in the day. I'm going to show you. You can see you, his arms are just like they can go only up and down. And you can see like they were, they were not ball joints. They had like rubber bands around them and they could not. And they also had like a power thing here. Like a power swing. And you could not pull them apart either. You can tell 
This is a uh, Battle Armor He Man vintage. Now, a few waves later, uh, Wave 5, Mattel did do a re release of He Man and Skeletor with a more retro 80s look um, for the fans, for, for Origins. And I'm going to show them right now. So this is the He-Man version. You can tell with the old school head sculpt right there. And you also notice there's no 2020 or 2021 or 2022. So it looks like more of an 80s uh, card back that we got back in the day. And here is Skeletor's one. And like He-Man, there's no new for 2022 or 20 or 21. But it has more of that retro look. And this came out during Wave 5. And that had Faker, Fisto, and... Uh, Lords of Power Merman and 2000X uh, Evil Lin. So there you go, guys. So tomorrow I will be looking at Tila and Evil Lin for Wave 1. So hope you guys will join me for tomorrow. I want to say thank you guys for all my subscribers. Thank you for, uh, please like the video, please notif get that, hit that notification bell, so you'll know when I upload uh, new videos. Thank you for watching, and until next time.